two things I love about fountains. It's the sound of the water cascading, something very calming and relaxing about that. But also it's, of course, how they look, particularly at night and particularly when they're beautifully lit like this. However, capturing that on camera can be particularly problematic. Lots of challenges for any camera here. It's very dark and we've got a fast moving light subject. So I think we're gonna, well, let's experiment, shall we? First things first, let's make sure we've got a good platform, if you like, for the image. So there's a bit of furniture around the outside of the fountain, this uh, uh, stonework. It's gonna rest my phone on my hand on there and I'm gonna use that to keep the shot nice and steady. Now, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna fool the exposure by tapping on a dark bit of the image. This isn't the image that I want, but what it allows me to do is to see something I can't actually see with my naked eye. So I can see where the edges of, the, of this concrete here align with the bottom of my rule of thirds lines on the screen, my grid lines on the screen. And that means that I can tell that I am level and in the middle as best as I can be with this triangle, if you like. But that's not the shot that I want. What I'm going to do now is just try tapping in the middle just to check focus. You can see across the top of the frame there in the live view mode that it seems quite noisy. I can see the, the dark blues and the black of the sky are kind of wavering around a little bit. I'm confident that once this image has been taken, that's going to clean up a little bit. So, let's just give it a go. Now, it does say keep your phone steady. Well, I'm keeping this phone as steady as I can. Let's just do another one there. Excellent. All right. So, what I'm going to do is just try a couple of different exposures here. So, I'm going to tap on the dark bits. And what that's going to do is it's going to make my camera try and expose to make that dark bit a little bit lighter. You can see the effect it's had on the fountain. All of a sudden it went a lot lighter. I'm just gonna tap and hold to try and lock it. There we go, you see how it's gone into the padlock. Now the whole image exposure is lifted up. I've lost a lot of detail, but let's just take the image and see how it comes out. Keep your phone steady. And then finally, let's just tap on the reflection bit at the front. Tap and hold. I'm just going to drag the exposure down a little bit now to try and get that sky looking really dark. Because really the bit that I'm most interested in is the lighting in the fountain and indeed the, the ripples, the highlights, the reflections on the water that surround it. So by forcing the exposure down, I think I'm going to be able to capture those a bit better. Let's just capture that. And tellingly, my camera is now not telling me to hold steady. I mean, I should hold it steady anyway, but it obviously feels that for the exposure that I'm asking for, there is already enough light coming in, which I think is a good sign. So, one more of those. I think we've got a few options for this fountain now. Let's see. Uh, which ones came out the best? This image, I think, was the camera's default attempt at capturing this fountain in the night sky. And I don't think it's a bad effort at all. We've got clearly got the fountain, we've got the water moving quite nicely, but the details are just a little overblown for me. And overall, the exposure's not quite right. Look how light this sky is. It's artificially bright. Certainly doesn't look like that with my with my human eyes and as a result of that we've just got some noise, actually quite a lot of noise starting to creep in. So a nice smart effort but I think we can do a bit better. This is the image you get when you over crank the exposure. I've tried to lighten everything on this image and just look at the noise across the top of the frame there. The sky looks as though it's, I, I don't know, been dragged through a hedge. It's it's grainy, there's all different shades of blue and black in there and it looks 
horrible and artificial. In fact, a lot of the image looks w milky. All of the details of the fountain and of the buildings around it have kind of been removed as well. So to my eyes, that's a bit ugly to look at. That's going to be going straight into my digital bin. With this image, I also manually tweaked the exposure, but I made it so the sky looked just how I saw it with my human eye. And well, what a surprise. This for me is the most balanced of the images that I was able to capture. I've got lovely detail of the fountain, of the buildings that surround it. The sky doesn't look particularly noisy at all. It looks just the same sort of hues as I can see with my eyes. And really now the the reflections, the highlights in the, in the ripples on the water really, really come to life and, and complement the image. I'm really pleased with how this came out. I think the camera's done a terrific job of capturing it, although it did need just a little bit of human helping hands. <laughs>